Today we have to talk about Thomas Edward Patrick Brady and his comments on parenting. Now, last week, the greatest quarterback of all time opened up to Ford CEO Jim Fairley on the Drive podcast saying that the hardest thing for him to do as a parent and his biggest struggle is his wealth. Now, how do you give your kids a much better life than you had while keeping them humble, hungry, and connected to what normal life looks like when your life is anything but normal? Like, that's a real struggle. Now, wealth is a caviar problem, but it is absolutely, it can be a problem at times. And I see people out here calling Tom Brady out for these comments, like Kelly Price didn't sing the exact truth 30 years ago. It's like the more money we come across, the more problems we see. It's more money, different problems, not even necessarily more, but they damn sure still show up. Now, Tom Brady wasn't complaining about having money because he damn sure wouldn't do that. But he just looks back on his childhood and some of the struggles of him and his wife, Giselle Bunchen, who grew up in rural Brazil, as like things that helped shape him to who he is today. Now, his kids aren't going to grow up to know what it's like to have anonymity or privacy or any of the normal things that help ground you or like help you appreciate a life of privilege after you've earned it once you're an adult. Now, Tom Brady and Giselle, they know a big reason that they had unparalleled success in their fields come from their upbringing, and it's impossible to turn around and give it to their kids. Now, I'm not wealthy by Tom Brady standards, but I've had the generational come up, been very blessed. And it's no big deal for my kids to be around professional athletes, celebrities, eating at dope ass restaurants or getting exclusive access to places that people don't ordinarily get a chance to go. Now, those things would have blown my mind when I was a kid, but these are regular occurrences for my kids. And sometimes you even wonder if your kids, if my kids even realize how sweet that they have it when they haven't experienced on the same level, the same tough set of circumstances that I did. And like Tom Brady went on to say in the interview, you want to impart in them the ability to appreciate how sweet that they is, that those things are and not their baseline reality. Now, I'm not saying that you need to feel sorry for Tom Brady or even me, but it's important to recognize in a world where there are millions of things to divide us that there's a universal truth that we all want, that we want the next generation to have enough adversity that makes it tough enough for them to be willing and able to fight through tough things, but not so much that it breaks them or that they feel like that they have to start over. Let that sink in.